Hey guys, this is Chris with MOV Trials, and in today's video, I want to do an updated review on the Movavi Video Editor. This tool's been updated quite a bit since I last done a review, and I wanted to show you some of the new features available in it, and kind of do a new video for you. I know a lot of you's out there looking to download this, and you know you're on the edge of whether you should buy it or not. And I want to show you what you get with it when you do buy it. Now you can download a free trial version of it by going to movtrials.com. The link's there on your screen. It's also under this video. If you click on it, it's going to take you to Movavi's website, and you just want to go to the top and click on products. From there, you'll see where you can choose either the window or Mac, and then you want to choose the product that you want to uh, learn more about or to download. So go there and download it. You can kind of follow along with me. And then at the end of the video, you can choose before you export the video whether you want to actually invest in the software and buy it or not. So let's jump into it. What I want to do first is show you a uh, short 40 second video clip I made here of an underwater photo shoot. And it'll kind of give you an idea of what you can do with the software. This is by means not anywhere near everything you can do with it. There are a lot of options and features within this tool. Uh, but it's just a little bit of what I've done within about a five minute time period of putting this all together. So let's go ahead and watch it real quick. Okay, so like I said, that only took me about five minutes or less to make, and I'm gonna show you quickly how I done that. That way, if you guys wanna make your own slideshow or whether you're making videos for even a hobby or for a business, uh, the Movavi Video Editor tool can do that for you, and it does a very good job of it. So when you first get started with Movavi, you're gonna see a screen that looks like this here. And you can choose to do a slideshow wizard, which is a step-by-step -step process to quickly get everything added into your timeline down here at the bottom. Or you can just start off with uh, creating a, a project in full feature mode, which is what you see here in the background. Uh, the first thing I want to do is show you the slideshow wizard real quick, and then we'll jump back over to the full feature mode, and I'll show you how I put this video together. Now, when you first get started with your project, the best thing to do is get down here to advanced project setup. Click on it and go ahead and adjust your settings for your resolution and your audio and how you want it. And then once you do that, you can click on either one of these. We're going to do Slideshow Wizard first. And we're on. there's only three steps to this before we get everything put together. And the first thing you want to do is add your files or folders of your images and video clips that you want. For files, I'm going to go ahead and click this. And I'm going to select all the images. Click Open. It's going to put all the images in here. I want the slide duration of each one of them to only be about three seconds. Okay, we're going to click on step two, and we can choose the type of transition style we want. We'll just leave it at crossfade. And then number three, we can add music to it. And we can choose one of Movavi's that they already have set up here, or we can add our own. And I'm going to add my own. And you want to adjust the slide duration to the music tempo. I'm going to put no and finish. Okay, and we can see here it says your slideshow is ready. So we're gonna click OK. And everything has been added down here. We can see all of our pictures have been added. And let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see this better. And what you're gonna see here are the individual images. And then in between each image, you'll see a gray box. And what this is, this is the transition style. So if we move our little marker back and forth, we can see exactly what's happening. So if I move it over here, we can see the, the transition taking place in this gray area. And then as we go over each image, you're gonna see the image. So we can put this marker wherever we want to if we need to edit any of the images or if you have uh, video clips you want added, we can do that as well. And then you notice down here, this is the scale box. This is what I click to zoom in and out with. So you can see either everything easily or if you need to zoom in, you can do that as well. So this is how you add everything um, with the wizard. Now what I want to do is go back and we're going to do without the wizard. We're going to do the create a project in full feature mode. 
So what we get here in full feature mode is obviously you, you, you've seen um, the screen is right here. The preview is going to be right here in this box. Down here is your timeline area. This is where you're going to add all of your video clips, all of your images, and do all of your editing. So if we go up here on the left-hand column, you're going to see a row of icons. And the first one is your import. This is going to allow you to import all of your files that you need to be using for your video. The next one are filters that we can use to add special effects to either the images or the videos. And then we have the transition styles, which are what I showed you the gray boxes in the video. And then we have where we can add different kinds of text. We can do callouts, and these are pretty neat, especially if you're doing any kind of like a tutorial video or you want to point out certain parts of your video or the images. Uh, these are tools that can be used once you have selected the clips on the uh, file, which we don't have none down there yet, so we don't have these options available yet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add media files. And if we don't have any already, you can record a video from an external device. You can add a whole folder of files, or you can do a screencast, which is recording your screen on your monitor and using that as part of your video. Over here, you're going to see that Movavi's added already a few uh, things you can use, such as sounds, some music, sample video clips, and backgrounds you can use. Let's go ahead and we're going to add the media file. So we're going to click here. And I'm going to go to my desktop. And I'm going to add my images and my video clips. Click open. And you can see instantly it puts everything down here on the timeline. Um, so what I want to do is just I, I, I can rearrange them however I want them just by clicking on one of them. You can see right now that they all have a yellow line a border around each one of them and that simply means that they're all selected so what i want to do is just click on each one of them individually and move them around so let's say i want this to be see this will be last and we'll use this as the first clip i'll just drag it and then i can move this where i want it to see what if i want to use the whole video clip i can or like i don't want this whole back part of this clip so what i'm going to do is go to about right here and make sure this clip is the only one that's selected and click the scissors and what that's going to do is split this clip in half and then I can click the part I don't want and hit delete and it's gone so now I only have this part of the video and the front of it's just a little bit too long too so I'm going to cut it and get rid of the beginning so now we have our little clip here now, you noticed in the video that I made at the beginning that you saw, there was some text added to it. And what I done here is I clicked it on the text box and I went down here and used. See, I used that one at the end. Let's find which one I used at the beginning. This one here. So you can click on it and see a preview and you can do that with all of these. But if you right click on it, you can click add to current position. So that's where I want it to be. And you can see it put it up here on a different layer. So and, and you can do that with this tool. You can create different layers and have video on top of video or image on top of the image. And you can use um, opacity options even to kind of see through them. And I'm not going to go over all those details. You guys can download it, kind of go through the, the tutorials and see all that. Uh, otherwise, this would be like a two or three hour video. But now if we play it. You're going to see that we have our text coming up there. And just like that. And obviously, I don't want it to say friendship. I want it to say something else. So all we have to do is just kind of double click on this. And you're going to see this box is highlighted. And that's going to let us to go in here and change this. And I'm going to change it to photo shoot. So all we have to do now is click play. And we can see photo shoot. Okay. Now, each image here. I'm just going to leave them in this order, but I want to transition in between each one of them. So we're going to go back here to transitions and we can choose by clicking these um, topics over here. But I like to use the blurs. So we'll use a couple of those and then we will use a, I like the zooms. You can do a zoom in. 
here. We'll do a zoom out here. And I also like to use the Ken Burns. So we'll do a couple of those just to give you an idea of what all these are. And then we'll just do a blur in for or a crossfade for the rest of them. And you just grab a hold of them and drag them where you want them. And then once that's done, you can go back through here and you can click play to see how it's going to how it's going to look. So those are the blurs. And then there's the zoom in. There's the zoom out. And then there's the Ken Burns effect. OK, so we have that done. And here's a couple other video clips. I'm not going to use both of these. I'm not going to use that one either. We'll just leave it like that. So we have this at the beginning. And then at the end, I had the text saying this was the end. So what I want to do is click on this and make it last a little bit longer. So I'm just going to drag the end of it. And that'll make the slide last longer. And then I want to go back to my text and find the one that said, ooh, we'll use this one here. That yeah, looks good. So I'll just right click, add to current position, and it says the end. So now if we click play. We have the end. Okay, now the end finishes right here. So that's where I want this to end also. So I'm just going to grab it and drag it. And it's going to line up right there. And so now they both should fade out at the same time together, just like that. Okay, so the only thing we really have left to do is to add the audio to it. And I can go back to my media files. And actually, did I add the audio to it? No, I didn't. Okay, we'll go to Add Media Files. And add it here. Now, you can see when I added the media file, it made the media file much longer than what the video clip is going to be. So what I can do is I can grab the end of this audio and drag it back. So it ends at the same time as the clip. Now, the only thing is, is if I play this, it's not going to sound right because it's just going to end suddenly. It's going to end really fast. And there it's done. So what I want to do is I want this to gradually fade out. So what I can do is I can right click on this audio, go to Tools, Audio Properties, and Fade Out. I can move this and let's say I want it to be three seconds. So now you can see this audio file now gradually goes down. So for the last three seconds, it's going to fade out. So let's listen to it now. And there you have it. And really, that's all there is to it, to making a, a simple clip. And like I said, there are a lot more things you can do with this, um, with your video clips and with your audio clips. Um, by right clicking on them, you can go to options and you can do different things. And you also have those options over here. Like I said, the filters, the transitions, all the text, different types of text. And if you just click on them, it's going to show you what they are before you add them. Uh, call outs you can add. And let me go over here. And you can do pan and zooming options. You can do highlight and conceal. So if there's something on a video that you don't want to be shown, you can adjust it. And you can just simply conceal it like that. Or you can highlight it. You can do it like that. So there's an undo button that you can use right here. And you can crop. And you can quickly go to some of your settings uh, by just clicking these options here. Uh, and just remember, you always have to have something selected on this bottom timeline in order to use these. If I, un if I click an image, you'll notice everything's white. And if I click off of it, you'll notice I can't use these options now. So make sure that you have something selected. And make sure you don't have multiple things selected if you only want to work on one thing, because it can affect multiple slides at once. Now, one thing I do want to show you, I know this has been a long video, it's already 15 minutes, um, but that's OK, is if you go to filters, there are some really neat filters that you can find in here that you can add to your video to really enhance it. Um, 
let's just scroll down through here. For example, there are selective collar blue, green, and red. And what that'll do, that'll only show the red, blue, or the green collars in your video. The rest of it will be kind of grayed out. So in this clip, let's say, actually, let's do this one because it has a lot of blue in it. I can click on this and add to select clip. Whoops, I had the wrong clip selected. See that? Okay, so what I want to do is remove this. And all I have to do is click the star and remove and make sure I have the right one selected, which is this one. And then right click and add it to this video. Okay, and you can see how she grayed out, but everything blue is still uh, really blue now. And we can do that with the different colors. So if I wanted to do, there's not much green in it. There's a little bit of red. So if we do red, you'll see where the red stands out, the red collars do, and nothing else does. Okay, so really that's all there is to it. Um, it's just a matter of just having your files ready, Im importing them all, and then you just bring them down to your timeline and edit them. And you can get really creative with this tool. And once you play around with it, um, it's, it's super easy to use. Now, once you're done, you can go down here to export. And it gives you a lot of options here. You can uh, save it in different types of formats here, your AVI, MP4, uh, DVD. You can choose audio only. You can uh, save it to your, um, your YouTube account and have it automatically upload it. Or for TV, for Apple devices, Android, or there's other devices you can save it to as well. And that's all there is to it, guys. It's super easy to use. And normally for our business, we've always used something like Camtasia Studio, which is a $200 piece of video recording uh, software. And when you compare it to Movavi Video Editor, um, I'm a little bit frustrated that I paid $200 for Camtasia simply because Movavi offers many of the same features with Camtasia. Um, actually, all the ones that we use is pretty much the same ones that Movavi has, and it's, what, $30, I think? And so I do highly recommend it. And you, like I said, you can find out more about it at movtrials.com. And if this is something that you're really wanting to get into with the video editing, I highly recommend that you upgrade to the Movavi Video Suite, which not only gives you the video editor, but also gives you the converter and the many other tools that goes along with it. You can find out more about that on their website. So go there and check it out. I hope this video has been informational as well as uh, uh, educational to you. If it has, please like our uh, YouTube channel, our video, and subscribe to our channel. And uh, as we put on more videos, uh, for related products here, you'll get notified about them. So uh, that's all there is, guys, and thanks for hanging around for these almost 19 minutes.